On this episode, we visit the port of St. Martin during our seven-day sailing on the Caribbean Princess. We rented a dune buggy from Electric Adventures for our visit. From nude beaches to world-famous Mahu Beach, if you're here on a cruise, you'll see why this is an amazing way to see the island. I'll also show you the moment things went bad and my camera was nearly destroyed. Stay tuned. I thought something seriously wrong was going on there. I just had to go ahead. The port looks completely empty for some reason. I'm not really sure what's going on, but uh, most of the stores at this port are closed. We are in St. Martin this morning, another port that I haven't been to. For today, we rented a buggy to go around the island. We booked direct, so we get two extra hours as opposed to booking from a third party site or the cruise. So we, we got the buggy for six hours instead of four. It takes two hours to drive around, so we'll have four hours to stop everywhere including the airport. After we booked, we received an email from Arun from Electric Adventures with detailed information of where to meet as well as his phone number to call once we arrived at port. We're waiting for our, our ride to pick us up and take us to the buggy rental. We call it Electric Adventures. Good, how you doing? Good, great, have a blast. Yes. All right, I got your nice little buggy waiting around the corner. I'm Arun, nice to meet you guys. So this is a room from what's the company? Electric Adventures Buggy Rental. Electric Adventures. So we literally got outside the gate, called him, and in less than a minute he was here to pick us up. This is our ride for today. It's brand new and it's pretty awesome looking. After a two-minute ride to the shop, a room gave us a map with a road to follow. He asked that I don't show much of it because it contains some of his secret places to visit. 24. So what I want you guys to do is head on straight to where the containers and the cruise ship is and make a right turn. So basically head along the road I just brought you guys in on. So we have this map that's going to uh, kind of guide us around the whole uh, island. It takes about two hours to get around the island. Yeah. Well, well, and, how'd, you know, uh, how'd you know that? Because he just told me. Yeah. <laughs> he searched, didn't he? <laughs> We are buckled up and ready to start on the Dutch side of island. Let's We're gonna go. look for our friend Dutch Rick. <laughs> Dutch Rick's going down. I met April during the beginning of the pandemic through an esports and crypto company called Nobility. During that time when we were forced at home, I made some friendships with people from all over the world that money can't buy. I got to meet April and others in Vegas when the company took some community members for an event. The fact that I'm vacationing with her now is just pretty awesome. There are others we haven't met yet like Dutch Rick. We are hoping that becomes a reality someday. For now, we are on the hunt for our friend. Looking for our friend Dutch Rick. I pulled over because there's all kinds of stuff going into my eyes, so I pulled, put my sunglasses on. And also, I recommend you bring some chapstick because you're gonna have the wind blowing in your face for six hours as you drive. Stuck behind this bus, and we can't make our way around. Oh man, look at this! Welcome to France. Saint Martin consists of two separate countries. For your buggy ride, you will start on the southern Dutch side, go into the northern French side, and wrap back around. Our efforts to find Dutch Rick in the French side will be unsuccessful. Well. You know Dutch Rick? Huh? D Dutch Rick, do you know? Okay. We found it. Jamaican beef pastry. Here, you guys want some bakery? Bread and Butter Bakeries was the French bakery that was highly recommended for us to stop, but unfortunately, it looks like it's closed. We're on the French side of the island. This is our first stop. They told us we could make it to this island out here. Oh yeah, it's nice. And I think he told us to walk through here, right? To go to the island. 
We're trying to decide if we can make it to that island or this island to the right. There's no way we can walk through there. Okay. So we're going to that island and we can walk there. The water's good. Hello. <laughs> Try, try to put your legs high in the air. Your legs. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool though. Hello. Hey, look at you supermodel. <laughs> this alone is worth the money spent on the buggy to be able to reach this remote island. I don't know what this is. This looks like volcano rocks and they're very sharp. We're gonna head back. We're an hour into the, our six hours and there's plenty of the island still to see. We're leaving the first stop in the island and no signs of Dutch Rick. I got my eyes peeled. So I think our next stop is the Naked Beach. Wow. That's Orient Beach. Orient Beach is the Naked Beach. Hello. That looks like prison to me, doesn't it? We're on our way to Orient Beach, aka the nude beach. April wants to go and she's got the map and she's in control. This was not. We just drove through nude beach. There were some new people, you have to trust us. I'm not gonna put this on the channel and get a strike this early on. But mom, do you see some naked people? Dutch Rick. Dutch, Dutch Rick. Dutch, Dutch Rick. Rick. Dutch Rick. Is no, he looking for a cat? D no, his name is Dutch Rick. Okay. <laughs> Dutch Rick. This is a really cool area. Hey, do you know where we can find Dutch Rick? Dutch Rick? Yeah. No? Dutch, yeah. yeah, yeah that, you okay, so thank I'm you. Saying, thank you. Yeah, you're on the front side. Thank, thank you. you. Find Dutch Rick. Oh, okay, thank you. The Prince of Being. You know where we can find Dutch Rick? Dutch what? Dutch Rick. Dutch Rick? Yeah. What, what is that? What is Dutch Rick? Dutch Rick. He, he, he's from here, no? A guy? Is yeah. a person? Yeah. Yes. Dutch Wing. Dutch Wing. Dutch Wing. Are we in the France part or the Dutch part? We're in the French side. Oh, okay. You're in okay. the central of the town. It's okay. Oh, okay, so we're still up oh, here. All right. Okay. Thank do, you. Do you. We're still up here? here? Where are we at on here? Uh, where are we? Friend side, Marigold. Okay, yeah, he's Marigold, Dutch. Marigold, Dutch. Uh, oh, so we're, we're almost we there. Could, we, have we have to go down be, here. We have to go down here. Rather. Down here? Yeah. Yes. Down here, that's on the other side. So just keep going straight? So keep going straight, follow the traffic. Okay. Follow this traffic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. will have come in and Proofers boom the funky land users. This is what we call window shopping in style. Down with Wibbles back shades. Welcome to the Dutch side. There's the famous Maho Beach Airport. I think we just got a ticket now. Hello, sir. Hello. We're at the world famous Maho Beach Airport. Where the planes land really close to you at the beach. It costs $5 to park. Just buy yourself one drink. They will validate your ticket for you. You having fun? You, you can also go to Sunset Bar and they'll validate your ticket there also. 
and they have the flight times of the large air, airlines schedule. So we have KLM and American Airlines will probably be here while we're here. Also Air France and another American Airlines. So we, we got here at the perfect time. Perfect table, right where their planes land. This is good job, April. Thank you. Do you know where I can find Dutch Rick? Yeah, I know him. You have a, I, I think I know him. You have a picture of him? You have a picture? Yeah, right here. This is him. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, him. I know him. him. Yeah, We're nice guy, nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Very good looking Jeff. Yeah, yeah, very good looking guy. Yeah. Bye. We got like some onion rings, guacamole, and some humongous, humongous chips. We have a KLM flight coming in in about 10 minutes, so we're trying to position ourselves to uh, catch the arrival. <laughs> the freaking hat went flying. That was insane. Oh my gosh. I thought something seriously wrong was going on there. Didn't even realize that was the plane. All right, I'm gonna use my phone this time to try to catch this next plane, take it up, because that was a total disaster. Might have caused some damage to my lens, but that was a powerful surge. Wow. Here we go, round two. This is a JetBlue plane taking off this time. That kind of took a lot of energy out of me. I'm gonna go jump in the in the beach. Let's go. Ooh, this water is nice and chilly. Damn, take, taking a risk. Getting off of this spot with the flag where it has really amazing views of the whole island. Come on, Dad. We're going up there. Right. Holy cow. It's windy up here, isn't it? Wow. We're filling up the buggy before uh, returning it it was eight dollars we drove five hours out of the six i have the option to pay 20 bucks to have them fill it up so just so you know we've just returned the buggy mama dad how did you like that oh very good i love it. We love it i thought it was great i absolutely loved going out to that island and then obviously the naked people at orient beach were amazing <laughs> we had an amazing time we paid for six hours uh, it took us about five hours and we went we went at our own pace we had amazing recommendations from our friends here at Electric Adventures Buggy Rental. Arun was awesome to deal with. Uh, if you book direct, you get two hours additional as opposed to if you book through a third party. So definitely recommend you uh, book direct. This is our first time in St. Martin's and this was the way to see the island. I hope you enjoyed our tour of St. Martin. If you are in this port, I highly recommend renting a dune buggy from Electric Adventures. We had a blast at this port. If you enjoyed this, please like this video. And if you like this sort of content, then hit the subscribe and notification buttons so you're notified when I drop the next content. And as always, thanks for watching.